G'day you beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Just thought I'd put out a quick video today or as quick as I can uh, on how to farm the Zephyr Prime parts. So uh, as you can see in the trade chat there, people are selling them or at least attempting to sell them for around 400p. Um, I have not checked to see what the average price that she's going for right now is, but I'm assuming that this guy is probably actually going to sell that for 400p. Um, you'd definitely be able to make, you know, 250, 300 at least on Zephyr. So what you're after is two Lith Relics and two Neo Relics. I'll probably pop these up on the screen. So what you're after is the Lith H2, which will give you the Zephyr Prime Neuroptics. It's a common drop. Uh, the Lith Z1, which will give you the systems. It is a rare drop, so you're probably going to want a few of those. Then you have the Neo K1 for the chassis. That's an uncommon drop, so you might need a couple of those. Uh, and the Neo Z1, which is the blueprint, and it's a rare as well, so you're going to need a few of those. Now, uh, when it comes to farming Lith and Neo relics, as far as Lith goes, uh, you have a fair few options. Uh, as far as defense goes, you can go a tier 1 defense, uh, and that will give you an A tier reward for Lith Relics. So that means Wave 5 and Wave 10, you will get Lith Relics. Also, uh, Dark Sector and Derelict will give you them as A tier rewards as well. But if you're going to do that, you might as well do Tier 1 because it's going to be a lot quicker. Um, as far as other A tier uh, activities, you have Interception. So the first and second transmission will give you Lith Relics. Uh, and Survival in the Derelict will give them uh, on the first 5 and 10 minutes. Apart from that, um, you know, Tier 1 Survival will give you them on uh, 15 and 20 minutes, so it's not really worth it. Uh, Dark Sector Survival is the same. Uh, tier 1 Spies will give you one chance. You know, there's not really too many chances there. So your best bets really to do a Tier 1 Defense. Uh, now... Um, what I would probably recommend is just go and do whatever's going to be the quickest. It's not going to matter um, what actual uh, T1 defense you do. I might just actually bring this up on another page here and look at all the defense missions that are available. What I would probably do is just go straight to Earth uh, and probably do... Um, you, know, you could do excavation as well, but... I don't know, I tend to think that um, a defense is probably going to be a, the best. I think that is Gaia? No. Uh, Lith? Yes, Lith. So it's 1 to 6. Um, if I remember correctly, it's not the greatest uh, location to be defending, but they're 1 to 6, come on. Chuck on an AoE frame, something like Equinox, which is what I'm going to use, uh, and you'll absolutely blitz through um, getting... Uh, these rewards done. So what you want to do is you want to go and do um, wave 5, wave 10, and then exit out and uh, reset. Do it again. Wave 5, wave 10. Um, probably just, you know, I, I would do, um, I would go for at least sort of 3 to 5 of uh, each of the relics. Probably for the Lith H2, which is the common drop, um, you're probably not going to need that many, but I would still go for five. Uh, the K1 Neo, uh, which is the chassis, I'd probably go, you know, 10. Uh, and the Lith Z1 and Neo Z1, I would, I would go for quite a few of those. Um, so that's your Lith relics. You know, you can do, uh, if I actually do what I said and bring it up. One second. So as far as, um... As far as the defense goes, uh, you have tier one defenses, which are gonna be Lith on Earth. Okay, so Lith over here on Earth. Uh, you then have Tessera on Venus, I think, uh, which is over here, which is not a bad one to do. Um, three to eight. Remember, these are all one to 15 enemies uh, tier ones. So then after that, you'll have one on Mercury, which will be which one is it? Laris. And then you have obviously one on Mars, which will be Spear down here. 
And then you will have um, Gulliver on Phobos. Where is, where is Gulliver? Gulliver's over here on Phobos. And you will have um, one more, which will be Caster on Ceres. Which is down here. Okay, Caster on Ceres, which is actually a Fisher at the moment. Um, now, as far as your your uh mace did i say mesa no then neo relics Dur. okay so neo relics what you're going to want to do as we said was tier three defenses um so you know hydron would be a good bet you have salvage and you have interception all three of them they're a tier awards so on interception as i said it'll be the first and second broadcast on salvage it will be the first and second um download uh, and on the defense tier three, it'll be wave five, wave ten. So uh, as far as tier threes go, uh, you know you can do hydron. Um, that is a very good option. Um, that is probably not actually the best bet in my opinion because you have uh, level thirty to forties in there. The easiest one to do would be Stefano on Uranus. I believe. Um, so Stefano on Uranus um, is a survival. Um, it's a survival. Hang on. What? Could have sworn that was a defense. Oh, hang on. Yes, it is a defense. It's a sortie mission as a survival. My bad. Um, so you have that one. That will be the easiest one. Um, that will be 25 to 27 enemies. Then you have obviously another one over on Neptune, which will be, where are you? Is it Lao Medea? Uh, or is it Proteus? It's Proteus. Okay, so they're 27 to 32. So what I would do is just go and do the, um, just do the easiest one. I mean, you're not here for you're not here for rank, you're not here for anything, you're not here to muck about. Just do the easiest one. Oh my god, bless me, I just sneezed my head off. Um, so that's going to get you your um, your Neo Relics. Um, and they're probably going to be your best options. I mean, apart from that, you could go and do... You know, you can go and do an excavation. Um, but Tier 3 is only going to give it to you on the 3rd. Um, tier 2 will only give it to you on the 4th. You know, Interception will only give it to you on the 3rd and 4th. Um, spies, you'll only have one chance. Um, you know, Dark Sector Survivals, you'll only have one chance. Pretty much everything else, you're only going to have one chance. At least with Salvage, Interception Tier 3, and uh, Defense Tier 3, you're going to have a good shot. So I recommend going to Stefano on Uranus for your Neo Relics. Uh, if you are on your own and you're struggling to do the enemies on this... Uh, defense mission you can probably do a little bit better if you go and do um, interception t3 because you're not gonna have to kill as many enemies let's face it you just you pretty much just have to run around and grab points it might take you a little bit longer um, I don't know um, but uh, you'll get it done nonetheless so um, just uh, again Neo relics Stefano on Uranus if you want to go for the Lith Relics, I strongly recommend just go and do, um, Christ, I forgot what it was again, Lith. Go and do Lith. Um, they're 1 to 6. Um, pretty much any of the uh, Tier 1s are going to be super quick to do, so maybe uh, mess about with the one on Earth, Venus, Mercury, uh, and find the map and uh, the layout that makes it easier for you to get it done quickly. Um, so that's it guys make sure that you um, have a little bit of the uh, what do you call it I forget what it's <laughs> I forget what they're called um, this stuff this stuff I'm having a mental blank um, refinement have your um, void traces for refinement um, so the Neo Z1 and the Lith Z1, they're the rare drops. You're going to want to make them radiant. So hopefully you got some saved up. I maxed out last night, ready for this. Um, and then the Neo K1s, which is the uncommon drop, you might want to maybe make um, 
make them uh, flawless, I think is your best bet. Because uh, if you go to Radiant, um, I can actually tell you right here, it will show you up here on the page that I am on. Um, so for the rare stuff, your best bet is Radiant, it'll give you a 10% chance. Um, for Uncommon, you can still go Radiant, um, it'll give you a 40% chance at a uh, uncommon drop so if there's two in the uh, in the relic itself that'll be a 20% chance overall to grab the piece that you want um, but flawless will still give you a 34% chance at an uncommon which is a 17% chance at the piece that you want so you can get away with just going for flawless but if you can afford it maybe just go radiant um, especially if you're in a group because uh, who cares if you get more of uh, whatever's uh, the rare in that uh, relic because I've not looked through the actual relics to see it's obviously it's got um, the uh, the weapons that came along with Zephyr in there um, so yeah uh, this is dragging on way longer than I wanted to I just wanted to quickly uh, tell you guys how to farm up these relics and what relics you are after so I hope that was helpful uh, if you did enjoy the video and you found it helpful uh, please smash the like button, leave me a comment, and uh, subscribe. If you have any questions, uh, pop them in the down there. And uh, with that said, guys, have a lovely day. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love your face, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.